Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We have this question. Is it necessary to read Surah Al-Fatiha while praying behind the Imam in the congregation of Salah? Basically, it means, do I have to read Surah Al-Fatiha when I am reading the Salah behind the Imam? So the answer is this. If the Imam is reading Surah Al-Fatiha loudly, is reciting Surah Al-Fatiha loudly, like it happens in Fajr to Raqqa, then Maghrib first to Raqqa, then Isha first to Raqqa, then you cannot read Surah Al-Fatiha behind Imam. You need to listen to him silently and carefully. But when the Imam is not reciting Surah Al-Fatiha loudly, he is reading it in his heart, like in Zuhur for Raqqa, in Asr for Raqqa, he does not read Surah Fatiha loudly. In Maghrib, the third Raqqa, and in the Isha, last two Raqqa, he does not read Surah Fatiha loudly. So in these Raqqa, you need to read Surah Al Fatiha. If you don't read Surah Al Fatiha, then your Salah will be incomplete. This answer is found in the book Sunan Ibn Majah. This hadith narrates that there is no prayer for the one who does not recite Fatiha to Kitab. So if you don't read Surah Al-Fatiha in these record in which Imam is reading in his heart, then your prayer is incomplete. Another hadith, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, whoever performs a prayer in which he does not recite Umul Quran, which is Surah Al-Fatiha, it is deficient, not complete. Then one Sahabi, one companion of Prophet or one person asked Abu Huraira, who is the companion of Prophet Sometime I am behind the Imam. He pressed my forearm and said, O Persian, recite it in your cell. Recite it to yourself. Basically, so in Zohar Asr and those Rakaab when Imam is reading his Surah Fatih in his heart, you need to recite it to yourself. You need to read it in your heart. Then there are more hadiths about this. Every prayer in which Umul Kitab Surah Fatiha is not recited is deficient. So if you don't read Surah Fatiha, then your Salah is in deficient, not complete. Every prayer in which Fatiha Tul Kitab is not recited, it is deficient. Again, this hadith is mentioned that. So there are many hadiths for this, which tells you that you need to recite Surah Fatiha as well. But the other thing, when the Imam is reading Surah Al Fatiha loudly, you need to remain silent. You need to listen to him carefully. You don't read Surah Al Fatiha in your heart. So just listen to him when the Imam is reciting. So this hadith tells us that the Imam has been reported to be followed. So when he says Allah Akbar, then say Allah Akbar. When he recites, then listen attentively. So here the word is fa'ansito, which basically means that when he recites the Surah Fatiha or Quran in the Salah, then you need to remain silent. You need to listen to him carefully. And in the Hadith as well, when the Imam recites, then listen attentively. Wa'iza qara al-imama. Imam of Ansitu. So basically, he they are they saying attentively, but the better translation is Fansitu means remain silent and listen to him carefully, attentively. Then Prophet led his companion in a prayer where I think it was Subha. He said, Did anyone among you recite? A man said, I did. He said, I was saying to myself. What is wrong with me that someone is fighting to rest the Quran from me? And then complete version of this this and after that we they were quiet in the prayers in which Imam recites aloud. So when Imam is reading Surah Fatiha loudly, you don't you need to read Surah Fatiha, just listen to him. But when the Imam is reciting Surah Fatiha in his heart, then you need to recite Surah Al-Fatiha.